we need to make sure that a we uh, get some some power because we're not having any food generated um, and so that's that's obviously not a, never a good thing um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause all this stuff um, but we need to ensure that we have uh, some form of kind of food generation um, so that's that's that <laughs> This, uh, this drought isn't going horribly, but it could very quickly change. Um, we don't have infinite amounts of food. So, anywho, um, from here, what we're going to do is make sure that we add uh, these fermenters into this production area. Um, but we also need to remove or relocate this power stuff here. Um, so what I'm thinking we'll do is we'll have it there and then, um, we'll, we'll do it there and then go ahead and add, uh, the necessary, um, fermenter buildings, um, here. Uh, so this gives us kind of more space and then we can also have like a, some well-being and decoration stuff here as well. Um, but yeah, so fermenter there and then we'll put a fermenter here. Um, that's going to replace what we have now. And then as well, we're going to have to put an oil press somewhere. Um, and so what I'm thinking we can do for that is we'll just put it over here um, on along there. And then um, we will need to create storage for the fermenter. Uh, and I think we'll do a medium storage unit um, or medium storage tank for that. Let's plop it right behind it. And make sure we change this to that canola oil. And that should do it for us uh, on that. Um, and then, so on top of that, we will kind of just have to wait it out here because um, we're in a drought and <laughs> yeah, I just need water uh, to come back. And we also kind of goofed up. We didn't add the necessary or put the floodgates up here. And uh, so it's a bit of a, um, or it's gonna be a bit of a rough drought, but thankfully it's not too, too brutal. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just let the um, game play here and we can all watch it. So, uh, the drought's over, um, we, uh, <laughs> ran out of water, but we have these floodgates here, so let's go ahead and flood everything, and, um, make sure we get all that back to normal. Um, so we're kind of just waiting on that, oh, whoa, god, Jesus, I forgot to do that, okay, <laughs> love that up, um, 
put that down or put those down. Um, cool. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's going on. I need to, oh, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll put logs in there and then are these not, oh, they are. Okay. Now let's get planks into there and there. So that'll do for that storage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause all these because there's no point in having them work in those. Uh, but what we can do is we can add some positions there in the hauling post. Um, and that leaves us with two beavers who don't have jobs. So we need to make sure we get, get them some work. Um, go ahead and put them in a builder's hut. Got plenty of things to build. Uh, oh, looks like they got their jobs filled. All right, so now that we have power again, let's pause the power wheels and uh, unpause all that jazz. Um, and that looks like we got all that working. So, um, let's go ahead and reduce all those jobs. Let's see, how's the water flowing? Oh, no, nice, we got the dams. So, or double floodgates here. Those finally finished. Um, so that gives us a bit of a better kind of water level over there. Um, we have one big old water wheel over here. Unfortunately, that's doing literally nothing. So this was kind of just a waste. That's good. <laughs> Um, what I'm thinking we'll need to do is build these levees here just to kind of force the water to a better path. Although I don't know if that's going to help much. Um, let's go ahead and get those levees there and then see if that helps at all. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the priority of these levees so that they get built sooner rather than later. And we'll see what happens. They're not really generating a lot of power and that's my fault. I kinda should have caught that. Um, I really wish I had dynamite too because I would blow these things away. Let's see, we're not even close to that either. Um, but anyways, so it also looks like we have now a homeless beaver and so we need to make sure we get our housing situation expanded. Um, what I'm thinking we can do is maybe we'll put some housing on this side. Um, we can get a large barrack. I'm going to slow things down. Um, we can get a large barrack, but... See how much does all that cost to build 70 planks or 70, 70 logs and that gives us 10 or 16. Is that worth it? Nah, I think we just build regular barracks. Let's place them here, kind of next to the living situation, the, the kind of the production area. Um, so let's do that and then we're going to go ahead and add some well-being, uh, kind of make our beers a little happier, put a roof on to this, uh, these houses over here. Although I don't think they're gonna be able to access them, so maybe not. Let's see, can we, no, they can't get to it. All right, we won't do that. What we can do, we can do it over here. And over here, we'll unpause this one. So what do we have in there? We have berries, soybeans, mangrove fruit. We have fermented cassavas, cassavas, fermented soybeans, and gears over here. And this is flooded again. Like, why is this flooded? These floodgates are one. Makes no sense. But, you know, can't do anything about that. So, once these are built, hopefully we don't have this issue anymore. Um, I'm going to go ahead and high prioritize these. How's this looking over here? So it's kind of moving. 
Um, may have to just get rid of this stuff because the water's not flowing. There you go. That looks a lot better. Kind of. Actually, maybe not. I did not take that one through. All right, well, we're gonna have to wait on that um, and see what happens. So now we have this whole area. We're gonna be able to put a farm, a farmer down, a farmhouse down. Um, let's go ahead and also put more kohlrabi storage down. Um, pause this one. We do not need that doing anything yet. Um, uh, once that's built, we'll pause it as well. We can't get any power to there. Um, we don't have any planks. We don't have to work on the planks. Um, but I think we should be okay for now. Pause these and this. Uh, I'm gonna increase the priority of these barracks. Um, yeah, look at that. Okay, so that's good to see. It's not flooding anymore. Um, <laughs> these triple floodgates, they look so ridiculous. They aren't even doing anything. <laughs> uh, it's funny. All right, anyways. So let all that happen, play out, um, get built. It's gonna take a little while. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait for all this. Um, let's see, put this up to two. How high is two? Well, maybe actually we'll put one to half. Uh, get the water built up over there. This is kind of flowing pretty well. Power's moving right here. Don't have enough power. Oh, how? How is this overflowing? Makes no sense. So weird. Someone can explain that to me. That'd be great. Um, how are these guys doing? Forcer's got that going. Uh, cool. Oh, and it's starting to flood again. Like, why? Anyways, these damn water problems. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Um, oh, here we go. This is starting finally. Finally starting production on all this staircase stuff. So we'll see how long this takes. Um, since we have ladders, what I'm thinking we'll do is we'll put a couple here and then see, we can put some platforms there and there. And that gets us these paths over here. Um, I think that'll help with this. And then we're gonna want to make some more ladders there and eventually we're gonna have another district over here so that we can actually get to this underground ruins but for now I'm gonna leave these all paused because we don't actually want to build those yet i'm sure something else will come up before this that's actually much more necessary to do so i think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and unpause all this stuff here and then um choose a recipe cassavas we're gonna pause all these buildings and that's because they are going to be replaced. Um, and so there's gonna be plenty of jobs for them now. Uh, and then what we'll end up doing is we're probably gonna end up moving these or kind of rewiring over here and actually maybe tapping in. Let's see, tapping in, we're tapping the power over here. So we do something like this. And then 
Uh, we'll have to delete this one. I'm gonna put this on emergency. Uh, let's see, where is it? Quadruple intersection. Actually, no point. Is there a point to doing that? No, there isn't. We'll just do a T here, but turn the T that way, and then do this. But put this as a high pri highest priority. Um, and then we will do a vertical connector and we will need at least one more. Like that, and then like this, get some straight ones there and there, and then turns there and there. And then one more. Oh, actually, we have to delete this. And then let's get a T junction, a straight piece, and then a turn there. And that will increase our power um, production. And yeah, that's, that's gonna take another little bit of time, but I think from here, we're good. Look at this. We've got our, everything kind of functioning here. Uh, all of our production facilities have been, have been uh, built and now we're just kind of going on to the next step, um, which will then be adding um, more production and getting paper and then dynamite and boom, boom, boom. But yeah, so anyways, that's it for this episode. It wasn't too boring. Uh, and I appreciate you for watching. And again, uh, if you didn't catch it in the last episode, happy new year. Um, oh, my mouse is in the way. God, this stupid cursor. Uh, and yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching. I am Crouton and, uh, yeah, have a great one. Bye.